Okay, in this video, Hao Tong Li, the best player so far coming out of China. Great young player. He's won on the international stage, has a lot of power. A unique move, which is sometimes hard to replicate, but let's take a look. Just a quick reminder, if it is your first time to the channel, please hit the subscribe button and hit the like button as well if you like the video. So like I said, a little bit different downswing uh, as much as anything else. Super fit guy, he's got some power, good backswing, plain. Does a great job of controlling the club face and getting that left wrist flat to bode in his backswing. So he's got that sort of Dustin Johnson look up there. More laid off like a Ricky Fowler, I suppose. But doesn't shallow it as much as he goes up there and gets a little bit longer. Tends to get the arms running on there a little longer at the top and gets a little extra pull with the arms coming down. He does get the body going, of course. He's a tour player, so of course he's super flexible and strong. Got the legs and hips rolling out of there early, but this plane's a little bit off coming down. Playing a little steeper here than it could be. The other players shallow it quickly and get it closer to this plane in parallel. He's a little steeper and away from that plane. And with that position, that's going to require, require him to sort of bend back underneath the shot and really get that right shoulder low, creating a lot of shoulder tilt, which once again can be troublesome. You are going to get some flip at the bottom, but with his athleticism and coordination, he's able to time it out. Of course, a slightly steeper downswing can have its advantages with some clubs, certainly hitting three woods and some other shots where you can get just a little more pinch on the ball, get the ball fading up in the air can be very helpful for that. But once again, that that slightly steeper swing, face nice and square, he's going to have to stall out the upper body to some degree, and he's not able to rotate as much as he could, which once again, through this bottom part of the arc down here is where he could have some excessive rotation on occasion when the timing's off, which can lead to some control issues. This fairway bunker shot on the downswing, you can really see that as he's moved forward there into his left leg Hips are unwinding, they are leading for sure, but then because of the shaft being slightly steeper coming down, you will see a stall out up in here with the upper body. And the arms are sort of moving independent of the body to some degree. Left arm bending out a little bit. And once again, the athleticism of the player, able to get that wrist in position, shaft leaning forward, all the classical club things you'd like to see to create an awesome strike on it and go through. But once again, there is going to be a bit of a, a problem there for a player that's that sort of closed sometimes with a laid off position, bowed wrist, if they're not rotating like you would see some of the other shut face rotators. This iron swing on the downswing, we can see it. We see that awesome position at the top. A lot of angle with the body, so showing off the flexibility and strength comes down staying in that posture beautifully to this point and once again the shaft slightly steeper than he would want it and that's going to require him to sort of bend the right shoulder down left shoulder up stall the chest out and have a little bit more of an independent arm move at the bottom than some other players he still won on the international stage, clearly has the mental game, short game, and athleticism to get it done. But it's interesting to see if he shallowed that thing out more, teach his body to rotate, just how much more control he would get at the bottom of the arc there. And for 2022, I really look for this player to, to kind of improve his status in the world. I've really been expecting him to break through. I thought he was on his way up. I know he had an injury two, three seasons ago to his wrist. I'm not sure if that's how much that slowed him down, but... Certainly, I would expect this player, with his mental game, to be climbing the ladder internationally and really competing in more majors. It just looks like he has that game to me. The mental side, there's that position at the top. Looks like a hybrid here. Legs rolling out of there. Beautiful leg work coming down. Once again, this club's just too far from the plane and too steep for him to really rotate that upper body. I mean, contemporaries of his would have this club way down in this area. Which then allows that upper half to just rotate. And the more the ro upper half is rotating, the more club face control you're going to get through impact. He's forced to dip under it. 
tilt the shoulders excessively, that raises the handle, steepens that shaft coming into impact, and then you start to lose the face control at the bottom on some occasion. Once again, he's great, international, awesome player, but on those really tough days on Sunday, that control and that flip with a little bit of tempo issues perhaps can be tougher than it would be for other players that are rotating with the face shut and just holding on through impact and that little cut out there. Well, that's gonna wrap it up for this quick video, Hao Tong Lee. Really can't wait to see this player 2022, 2023, to see how, how much he rises up in the world rankings. And he, can he get that first major? Because he sure likes, looks to me like he has a mental game to play to the highest level. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you in the next video.